Hi everyone, I'm Freddy Krueger, and I want to thank you for being here. Now I know I already put out a Halloween video, but your Halloween is about to get a little Halloweener because I had to come back and address the slanderous comments Grandma Kathy is making about me. Now, to be fair, I do know what she is referencing. About a month ago, I did go back to Elm Street just to revisit old memories. And was there a death while I was there? Technically, yes. Did I do it? Absolutely not. Okay, technically, there were two deaths, but I can hardly be blamed if someone has a dream about me and has a heart attack in real life. To me, that sounds more like an underlying medical condition than a murder. So I'm not really seeing how Grandma Kathy is connecting the dots on these. Um, who? So, okay, full, full transparency, because part of recovery is being honest, and I know that this one is going to look bad. That's why I didn't want to tell you. Uh, there was a third death while I was visiting Elm Street, and this one I can see why Grandma Kathy might think it was me. There were four slash marks on the victim, but in my defense, I doubt I am the only person on Elm Street who owns knives. So I see it a little, I guess. And I, I just want to assure everybody that I have not given in to my urges Grandma Kathy's accusations are not true, and I'm actually going to get into Grandma Kathy's past a little bit once we're down on the canvas. Um, I, I, I do appreciate everyone being here, believing in me, supporting me on my recovery, and I just hope that these baseless accusations don't get in the way of what we're creating here. So thank you for being here. I will see you down on the canvas, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Today we are gonna be using a 12 by 12 inch canvas. Now, I know last time I said I only know a few techniques, and that's why we did a flip cup. The truth is I can only do a flip cup. I mean, technically I can do a straight pour, but I suck at them. So just take that one off the table right now. Um, I can't hold a, a blow dryer very easily. I can't hold a pallet knife. Every time I try to do a bloom, my hat gets in the way. So I am fairly limited. Uh, to the techniques. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about Grandma Kathy and Tanya, and this, this, my friends, is probably going to surprise you. You probably didn't see it coming. They are both stone cold witches. Swear to God. They're actually about 2,000 years old. But, surprisingly enough, neither of them are grandmas. So, I met them probably 1692, 1693, somewhere in that area, uh, in Salem. We used to go out, we'd get drinks, we would do a few killings, um, really basic best friend type of things. Now, Kathy, when we were in Salem, had this sinister, sinister plot to create these medallions that would allow her to control people's minds. She was always missing one ingredient, though. And so when she found that J-Diction resin, I personally think that that's what those medallions are for. Now, I'm not saying for sure. I don't want a defamation lawsuit on my hands. All I'm saying, it's a little bit suspicious. And Tanya, her specialty is potions. 
So if she's selling you a potion, my friend, I would not buy medallions to ward off Freddy. Get out of here with that. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit more paint, like I said last time, just to make sure we have coverage. But I did remember Flow Extender, uh, a little pat on the back. Now, you may not believe me at face value that Kathy and Tanya are witches. So, real quick, let me just lay out a few facts. They wear witch hats, they wear witch clothes, and their primary mode of transportation are witches' brooms. Son of a gun. If that doesn't scream witch, I don't know what will. I didn't mix many colors today. I'm kind of experimenting a little bit. I know as well that when somebody offers you a medallion to ward off Freddy Krueger for the low, low price of $9.99, you might think to yourself, well, why not? You know, why take the chance? Well, let me buy this medallion and see if it works. Well, I've got something to tell you right after I do this flip cup. So, let me uh, see if we could do this flip cup. Nailed it. Freaking nailed it. Okay, so we'll let this sit. And while we do, I want to tell you a little something that, that I have to offer today. You old flipperoo. So last time we were together, I spoke a lot about the handicaps of having knife hands. But I also think I mentioned some of the kind of cool things as well. So the offer I wanted to extend to you, I'm going to spread this out just a little and then we'll do our flow extender. I'm seeing some big bubbles in here. Perfect for knife hands. So the offer that I want to extend to all of you watching right now is for the low Low price of $19.99 plus shipping and handling. You too could have your very own knife hand. Now all you need to do to claim this offer is go to the description in this video. Click on the link. And you'll need to enter your credit card information your mailing address, and your current sleep schedule. And once you enter that information, in eight to 12 weeks, you too will have your very own set of knife hands. Now, because I am feeling generous, and I appreciate you all so much for being here, if you order within the next 20 minutes, I'm gonna throw in a second pair of knife hands at absolutely no additional cost to you except shipping and handling. <laughs> I'm not made of money here. Am I right? Uh, so definitely after you watch this video, and I'm sure you're going to want to head over to Tanya and Grandma Kathy's videos as well, I would take up that offer. So again, just a valid credit card, uh, not Discover, and your home address where you're currently residing and your current sleep schedule. And after that, my friends, you too can be painting with knife hands. So we're going to bring this around, like I said the last time, to all of the corners, but try not to let it go over. Perfect. Do it again over here. Up. 
Perfect. Almost went over there, but you got to catch it. There's something big in the middle of my painting. Let me see if I can scoop that out with the old knife hand. Oh, yeah. Big old guy right there. See, this... This is what's going to make it a Freddy original. A lot of knockoffs out there, my friends. But this, you have video evidence that was made by Freddy Krueger himself. Let's bring this back up. Not the best painting. Like I said before, don't be expecting any of the, the great painting artists whoever they may be. But we got in the studio. We had some fun. You could be going home with not only knife hands, but a Freddy Krueger original. So I call that a pretty good day. While I'm bringing this down to the last edges, I do wanna thank you all for being here, for hearing me out about my recent visit to Ohio to visit Elm Street. Uh, and also to warn you about those bad, bad witches, Kathy, and Tanya. You know, the most surprising thing about Kathy and Tanya is that in 2,000 years, neither one of them are grandparents. That should also tell you something, my friends. So, I'm gonna be honest. If you guys weren't here with me right now, this would definitely be a slasher or a stabber. Uh, but I'm trying to clear my name, so I'm going to let this one live. Thank you for being here. I'll bring you in for a close-up. I'll bring you in for a drive results. And I might even have bloopers at the end of this. So have a good day. Have a happy Halloween. I hope your Halloween did get just a little Halloweener. I do want to get into some of what grandma... <laughs> Every freaking time. Oh, Freddy. Maybe I can use a palette knife. Maybe not. <laughs> what am I saying? I got four palette knives right here. <sighs> Guess I won't be using Payne's Gray today. <laughs> 